Hi there, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Animation. Today I am going to show you how to make a logo in 3D Max in very simple way. So let's get started. Oh, I'll just click on front view port and uh, I'll just press Alt B on my keyboard. If you see, this is a called uh, viewport background. So we can get the files uh, wherever we want, like a JPEG in this viewport. So like this is over here, view and the viewport background. So the shortcut is Alt B. I'll press Alt B on my keyboard. I'll go to file. Open the file and the main thing, uh, the setting we do is we never say match viewport so we I always go to say match bitmap and uh, say lock the zoom and pan so i'll say okay so this is the logo john tire press g on my keyboard to unhide this i'll go to splines line and uh, the thing is we have to jot down this deer first so see, click click just go and click and uh, there will be no problem because we will be defining later on in case uh, in different software is called pen tool so the same thing uh, we will apply the rules of the pen tool we will go and say the bezier's these corners of the splines this and this one say yes close it so now the refining part the refining is click right click bezier corner and this will be the bezier we have to move it this one like this Click Bezier corner. This is fine. Again, we'll make Bezier corner. So, if you uh, have a problem with the adjustment of Bezier, if you see this is uh, uh, transform gizmos controls. What I'll do is I'll just make this off. Uh, when there is a problem we can't move this the problem is you do right click over here and say access constraint so maybe the problem will be that will be a constraint to z only or y so you can't move this properly so always you have to be on x and y so and dock this to the top Select right click say Bezier corner. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just show you till here and uh, I'll I'll pause my video and uh, I'll show later on because the whole video will go on say adjusting only the vertex. So I don't want to waste your time only to see the vertex as moving. So this is the what the nature of the work will be. The same thing uh, we have to follow. There is no different things uh, we, we are doing. S select all the vertex if you can. Right click and say Bezier corner. Point like this. This will be like this. See this now 
x is constrained i'll say x and y then i can move it wherever i want so now i'll just pause my video and i'll do it rest of the things so i have adjusted the whole thing and the small part i have to show at this corner i want small uh, fillet so i've selected a vertex and you can give like this small curve so at the point when you feel that should be a very smooth curve you can give like this soft touch of the curve here as well soft so it will not so harsh on the edges so now this is uh, we got and now i'll take a box that's a rectangle this point to this point so right click convert to variable poly sorry very sorry convert to variable spline and again same thing and i'll just see i, I can't move this to the top the the thing is we have i have constraint to x but we don't want it so x and y now i can go like this this happening like this we don't want to and why can move then i can adjust it later on yes select both the points so first i will adjust this one then just go on to scale and press r r on my keyboard and i'll just press shift and drag inside i can get the second uh curve and say okay and i'll say spline select the spline say outline and one outline like this we want so now be sure this outline is intersecting this dear's leg so if not then what we have to do is click this one and say vertex just overlap this vertex or click on spline just be sure it where it is so i'll go and segment and say overlap uh, already is perfectly overlapping now i'll click first this tier and i'll say bevel i will not do only just extrude i'll tell you say bevel slightly i'll go and say point 5 with the start outline and i'll go to level 2 slightly inside will we get this very smart curve and that is required so it makes lot of sense when we do the light of the scene so fine so this is what and the same thing we can apply it on this inner plate i'll say copy 
select this and say paste and this one we can do the simple extrude because it doesn't have much fancy things so I'll go and set this to back click on say shaded because realistic makes the viewport uh, slow down the viewport now it's perfect now I'll go and say materials before that I'll just do the text come down with the size the same bevel I will copy it and paste and I'll go to materials I'll take yellow now I don't want this uh, background should be on I'll, I'll press again alt and b alt p on my keyboard and just say uh, don't want to see this display background say ok fine you can say yellow bright yellow this one and okay and say green G -R -E, green but in this screen uh, take this simple green first I'll just show you what the difference this one say assign and sign but if you see there is no uh, shading in this uh, green if you want that that's a good uh, way to add a gradient into it say gradient now I'll take this darker green green but something very dark and something very bright green not so bright and this will be a bright so now I'll just select and assign show is fine I'll just say assign it's fine and say radial you see this is what we want so I'll say UW map so this is the cool effect what we were expecting but I don't want so much of bright so I'll say copy so now it's fine this is what uh, the result is so for this I can assign a flat flat green but if you assign this thing this will be a fine this will also be fine so this was my uh, tutorial for logo design how to trace it in uh, 3d max so if you really enjoyed my tutorial do let me know and do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know so I can make for you and uh, thanks for watching my tutorial thank you